Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. What factors are going to make difference when you invest in any organization? Whether you are investing on securities, whether you are investing on debentures or any place, wherever you are investing, what are the factors? What makes the difference? That factors you have to consider, then you have to go for the investment. What are the factors? Few points we'll see. First point is risk appetite. Risk appetite. Without risk, there is no investment, isn't it? Most of the organizations, wherever you invest, more or less risk will be there. But there are some investments, no risk at all. Those investments are, example, you can take bank, banks, if you go for bank, fixed deposits, and if you go for post office also, if you put on any deposits, those are safe. Apart from that, wherever you put your investments, if you go to market, stock market, or private money lenders, financial institutions, wherever you go, more or less risk will be there. So based on the risk, the investors who, who are willing to take the risk, they have wide options. The investors who does not want to take the risk, they have less options. That makes the difference. That is risk appetite. Second one is past market trends. <clears throat> we have to consider the past market also before investing suppose say uh, i want to buy some um, investments i want to put my money in in any in investment so in such cases you have to consider that whether the organization is issuing the uh, securities is it already existing different points will discuss so if the uh, organization is already old organization and here existing existing securities they are issuing okay if they are issuing securities existing securities same kinds of securities then how you have to consider you have to see the same existing securities past performance how was the past performance based on that you are going to decide it so this is about existing secu securities and if it is new securities new secu securities companies issuing we can't see the past performance of the securities because this is new securities new one they are introducing in such cases what you have to do you have to see the performance of the organization see the performance of the organization based on that you are going to take the decision this is about company old company and another case we'll see if it is new company Company is totally new. There is no question of existing securities or new securities. All the securities are new only. Then how would you rate it? So if the company is new, you have to consider the industry. Same kind of industry. How the industry is going on? Suppose you are putting your investments in securities like uh, stock exchange. How the stock, stock exchange growth? Is it growing or down? And where you are putting your investment? Suppose I want to put my investments in a uh, steel company, or otherwise I want to put my investment in uh, uh, iron, iron steel, or otherwise you can take uh, textiles or computer related exports. Where you are putting an investment? So you have to observe that industry. Okay, past performance that you have to consider. Now, anyhow, past market trends, you have to consider it in this way. If it is existing company, old company, existing securities and new securities. If it is new organization, then you have to see the trend of the market. Okay. Next one, investment term. How the investment is going, investment term is going to make the difference in the investments. Investment term means generally you will have a small term or long term, right? Here you can take short or long. Most of the investors, they expect long term investment. There are few investors, they wanted to invest only on short term. Short term is they might be having some ambitions, they might be having some other targets. So that is the reason only short term I wanted to put. What kind of investments are there? 
what kind is the what is the kind of the nature of the investors that you have to consider for investment term if many of are going for the long term then it's well and good you can proceed for the long term means there will be a demand there will be a demand and also investors are going to choose the long term otherwise short term and also availability of funds okay i wanted to invest in so and so organization so and so funds i wanted to take mutual funds i want to take i have some decision but what about the availability check out the availability of the funds if availability is there then only you will be able to invest because of the demand if more demand is there for such kind of funds for such kind of securities it may not be available if not available where is the question of investing so that depends on the availability of the funds okay next expected returns returns everyone expects profits only huge profits they expect but some investments will give you less profit returns less whereas some investments will give you a uh, huge returns what kind of returns you'll get huge returns where risk is there no risk means you get limited one only so your returns based on your returns if i am expecting more returns i have to take the risk and go ahead so that makes the difference in investing no risk i don't want any risk then i put my investments on safe side where i get very less returns that makes the difference and also you can observe few more important points like security and safety if people are expecting that i want security and safety this point already we have discussed if i am expecting security and safety i want to put my investments in such organization where 100% security is there going to bank though interest rate is very less but still i want to put my investments because i am expecting some safety and security whereas if i go to some private organizations safety and security is not there maybe the returns are definitely better than the bank so this also makes the difference and also liquidity many investors expects that my investment should have the quality of liquidity any time i can encash it if you go to uh, securities definitely you can encash it any time and also if you go to mutual funds also mutual funds also if i put my investments any time i can enhance it into cash whereas life insurance investment not possible so that depends on the investments what kind of investments you are doing based on that liquidity depends if you are expecting liquidity more liquidity so you have to choose those investments which can be convertible easily into cash and next tax implications also this point also already we have discussed tax also you have to consider i am putting my investments okay is it giving any kind of tax benefits if i am under the tax brackets i must consider this tax implications are there tax deduction is there or not if it is there then we'll go for that kind of investments only no tax deduction then i must consider uh, whether i have to go or not dilemma will be there so this is also going to make the difference in investing your money and also non economic factors not only the discussed points non economic factors also that makes the difference in uh, keeping my investments what kind of non economic factors one is technological changes technology is changing so according to that i have to take care of my investments suppose say i am putting my investments in export company in an export company expected around 5 lakh due to technological changes there is a lots of demand for this products so so many exports are there price is increasing then what i can do i can increase it to 10 lakh a 12 lakh 15 lakh based on the technology or otherwise on the reverse side you can take technology is changing whatever uh, wherever i am putting my investments that is coming down then i have to think about my 5 lakh safety is there for my capital or not based on the technological changes and also government policy sometimes government policy will be changing you know especially budget period for a few products there will be there, there will be lots of relaxation and for few products the price will be increasing a lot 
according to that you have to decide and also competitor strategy what is a strategy of competitors many strategy many competitors are there automatically that's a threat for this industry that's a threat for this organization then see that if competitors are less okay this is monopoly no problem i can invest so evergreen problem this ever evergreen project this is i can invest it based on that and also outlook of the management what is the strategy of the management this you have to see if management is good continuously rapid growth is there for the past 10 years if you see growth is more then definitely i wanted to go for this investment because strategy of the management is good our outlook of the management is good if the management is not good growth is not up to the markets uh, towards the downfall then i need to think about it so these are the factors which makes the difference in investing your money wherever you are investing so all these points you consider then you go for the investment and in the coming class we'll see where we can invest it <clears throat> where we can invest it how many investments are there what kind of investments are there very important topic not only examination point of view it will be useful for your general life also stay connected check out the playlist and don't forget to share this video there are many subjects which already covered so good luck